Yo, what is up guys, Underpowered here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys 122 kills, 6 deaths on the map Aquarium. The game before this, I think I picked up 101 kills as well, so that was back-to-back -back 100 pluses. Um, yeah, Aquarium, one of my least favourite maps on the game. I don't think I've dropped many 100 pluses on this map. If I have, it's only probably been a handful. But um, I don't know, just something about this map is really, really small, but it just plays so big. Um, the kill streaks suck on it. It's fucking terrible, in my personal opinion. And um, I'm gonna be using the Faro with the suppressor and the extended mags. And um, the thing about the Faro is it's really, really weak without the. Um, well, it's really weak with the suppressor on. So you see in this game sometimes I shoot like two or three bursts at the enemies and then they just don't die. Sometimes the bullets just don't seem to connect. And I don't know. It's just something about the silence is really, really bad. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. But um, when you are going for like raps and like raves. Um, you want to have the suppressor on just so that when you shoot an enemy don't spin around and like wait for you to jump around the corner or anything like that But um, yeah, so it's 100 plus Hope you guys do enjoy that But um, today I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty and um, the problems with Call of Duty And um, the first thing I am going to be talking about is the supply drops I've been meaning to make a video on the supply drops for a while But um, I've just never got around to doing it and um, it's just really, really frustrating. Like, I have never bought supply drops on any um, Call of Duty game. They first became a problem in Advanced Warfare when um, you could start to get, like, the BAL Obsidian Steed and HBRA Free Insanity and stuff like that. Like, guns which would kill you in a free hit and a four hit at the maximum. And um, they were a lot better than the previous variants. And um, you guys know if you did have the BAL Obsidian Steed, that was an amazing gun. Or there was one of the battles as well, which shoot really, really fast. And HBRA free insanity was the best HBRA free. And um, it's just really, really annoying how now on Black Ops 3 they've added so many guns in. Like I took a break from playing, and then when I came back playing, they had the PPSH. They had like four different assault rifles, three or four different SMGs. They got all sorts of snipers, fucking grenade launchers, all sorts of fucking shit. And um, I can't even tell you what the weapons are because I don't even know some of them. Like, you see in this gameplay, like, a guy literally shoots a saucepan at me. It's fucking mad. It's like that blue disc thing. It just shoots all you. It's ba -ba 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 -ba. It shoots all on the walls. It fucking kills you. It's just so much annoying shit. Like, as you see, i got the M16 right now. This gun is melting. But unfortunately, this is not my M16. Of course, I can't get it. you got to buy supply drops to get it. It's, it takes the piss. They should sell the gun separately. Like, on Advanced Warfare, they brought out the AE4 Assault Rifle. And how you got that weapon you actually bought the first map pack so then you had that map pack you had a new gun that's completely fair enough um because i actually got to use that gun in that game and it was pretty good i think uh, we killed within like a three or four hit and um i managed to get 100 plus kill games with that and i used that gun probably for about one maybe two three thousand kills at the most and um, i had my use out of the gun but um in black ops 3 i have not got any of these weapons i literally got some nunchucks which fucking suck i'm never going to use those i think i got um another um knife sort of weapon uh, it's just fucking terrible and i got the mx grand which is absolutely abysmal like i do not want to shoot all of my bullets out of the clip before i can actually use another one i think I got like six or seven maybe eight in the clip like i don't want to use guns like that like i mean look i picked up the peacekeeper right now this gun is pretty sick there's just so many good guns in the game and you have to get them through supply drops but um, unfortunately the supply drop earn rate is so slow in this game you may earn two three four maybe five um on a good game but um, a rare supply drop actually costs 30 points. And it's going to take you about 20, maybe 30 boxes to even get a weapon. Like, I've been opening these fucking boxes forever. And I've only got the most terrible weapons. Um, so this month, I'm actually going to do the unthinkable and buy some supply drops. Which is ridiculous. Because you need to spend like 60, 70 pounds just to get a gun. Which is fucking terrible. Just to open some supply drop weapons. I don't know, it just makes no sense to me. They personally, in my personal opinion, if they're going to make weapons, it's good to make weapons. Everyone loves new weapons in the game. You should be able to earn them. And yes, they say, oh, you can earn them through supply drops with the crypto keys. It fucking takes forever to get them. And the supply drop rate um, on which you're going to get the weapon out of a crypto key versus a bought supply drop is drastically different. They should sell the weapon for maybe £2.99, £3.00. I'll say 3 99 at the most, and when I say that, that is UK pound, so um, that'll be slightly more in the dollars. But um, if they if they sold all of these weapons for, say, £3, pound, 
I would buy most of them. Of course, I wouldn't buy the um, shitty nunchucks and, and knife weapons, stuff like that. Like, I would never buy any of those, but I'd buy the Peacekeeper, I'd buy the PPSH. Like, I'd literally spend probably about £15, £21 on guns, literally right now, if they'd actually bring them in. Bring that ability to actually buy those in the game. And um, supply drops are never going anywhere. COD Modern Warfare Remastered, which is actually a remaster, has actually got supply drop weapons in now. Like, it, it's absolutely retarded. It got like a shotgun, which is automatic and crazy. And then we got like another assault rifle, which instantly melts. I don't really play that game. My personal opinion is terrible. It's not like the original Call of Duty 4. I've um, actually got like 120 kill game to upload on that. So. I'll actually be um, bringing you guys a video talking about why the game is trash probably this week. I think I'm only like level 45, maybe 50 maximum on that game. I played it for like the first week, that was it. Um, Infinite Warfare, I'm maybe level 10. Like, I kid you not, I'm, I'm maybe level 10, maybe 20. At, maybe, nah, I'm not even 20, maybe 15 at the most. Like, that game is absolutely abysmal. So that's why I'm actually playing Black Ops 2 for the second year in a row. And I actually, no, not Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, sorry. And I actually have not even played Black Ops 3 that much. I think I got, like, 12 and a half days played. And I've got, like, 105,000 kills with, like, a ratio of 4. Um... But I remember back in the Modern Warfare 2 days, I'd have had like 30 days by now, or Black Ops 1, probably like 30, 40 days as well. But um, the more the games came out, the less I actually played. But um, I'm playing pretty consistently now, I'm trying to play every single day, so my playtime will be going up. I want to get like 200,000 kills by the end of Black Ops um, 3. If I'd have been playing this game all the time, I could have hit like 400,000 very, very easily. But um, like I said, only 12 and a half days played, and it's the second year of Call of Duty. See, all of these changes are making me not want to play the game. Like, I literally died by Marshall 16s. If you guys don't know what they are, they are the pocket shotgun on Black Ops 3. If you ever die by those, it's just a fucking pistol which shoots shotguns. It's literally better than a lot of shotguns on the game. It's just a secondary weapon. It just makes no sense to me. Um, they really need to give you the ability to buy the weapons. I know it's like a tr like a public company. People have like shares in it and stuff. So um, they're never going to get rid of those stupid fucking boxes. And every year they always say, oh, it's going to be cosmetic only. Like, Modern Warfare Remastered, they said, co I can't even say my words, cosmetic only. And um, yet they still manage to fucking put weapons in the game. It's just absolutely stupid in my personal opinion. Um, you guys comment down below in the comment section below. What do you actually think of the supply drop weapons? Do you think they're stupid? Do you like spending like £100 just to get a bunch of weapons or like $200, whatever? And um, yeah, so hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. If you could, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. 122 kills. Absolutely slapped these enemies. Um, could have been a lot better gameplay, but hey, 122 kills is all good. And I'm thinking about recording some live commentaries as well, so I might record a few of those this week. Hope you all have enjoyed the video. My previous video was a 70 and 1 TDM with a nuclear. I'll leave that down below. And yeah, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys later. You see.